hit that like button, hit that sub button, follow that IG page, man. Let's get straight to it. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. I was literally just scrolling over here on X and uh, came across an interesting video. I haven't even watched it yet all the way through. I just seen that it was Elon Musk basically owning the BBC reporter about misinformation. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring this to the channel and react and kind of give my raw thoughts is because misinformation has been a big talking point right now um, in the media by the liberals or by the Democrats because among many reasons why they feel like they lost the uh, election, one of the reasons they feel like Kamala Harris uh, in her whole campaign just didn't relate or gain the support of the majority of vote voters, they feel like one of those reasons is mis misinformation. They feel like it was misinformation about the border, about the economy. Um, their whole argument is basically that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden did everything perfect and nothing was ever wrong. And everybody that has criticisms about their term are just spewing misinformation, which is crazy, you know, and, and it plays into the whole Kamala and Biden. They wanted to censorship certain social media platforms, you know, that kind of what it seemed like this reporter was trying to say to Elon Musk, because we know Elon Musk owns Twitter. So he basically saying like, oh, you're controlling the information now, which is not true because what Elon did was lifted the control of people's speech. You know what I'm saying? He brought back free speech to Twitter, which is now X. And now you can go on X and pretty much say whatever you want to say, which is what America was built off of, which means you could say good things. You could say hateful things. You could say pro-race things. You could say racist things. It all falls under freedom of speech, whether you like it or not, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into this reaction, man. Shout out to the boy Elon Musk, man. He making some major moves out here. Got the Department of Government Efficiency going with Vivek, and we're going to see what that boy talking about, man. Let's get into this video, though. All right, so this is the post that I was talking about, and it's really crazy. This is Elon uh, app, and it was just on my front page, and he says, a classic you just lied. Elon Musk destroys BBC reporter in live interview, guys. So this should be good. Hit that like button. That's a false. No, what I claimed. You just lied. What? No, no. What I claim was. Can I, I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about? Really? You know, who's to say that something, something is misinformation? Who is the arbiter of that? Is it the BBC? Yeah, you literally, literally asking me. Yeah. Well, no, you, you, are, the, the you are the arbiter. No cap, because who's to say that some person's opinion is misinformation? You know? Only thing that could be misinformation if it's like a written down rule book fact. Like you saying two plus two is five, that's real misinformation. But at the end of the day, if I want to tweet that out, I should still be able to say it. Now, if, if your dumb ass want to believe it, that's on you. You are better on Twitter because you own Twitter. Yes, I'm saying who, who is to say that uh, one person's misinformation is another person's information? Um, at the point at which you, you say that there is, uh, this is misinformation, like who is you, going you to decide that? You that misinformation can be dangerous, that it can cause yes. real world harms, that it can potentially cause... Um, yes, yeah, so the point I'm trying to make is that the BBC itself has, at times, published things that are false. Do you agree that that has occurred? I, 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 I'm quite sure the BBC have uh, uh, said things before that turn out to not be true. Correct. Come on then, man. That's blatant misinformation. So should the BBC close down? Should whoever owned the BBC be charged for misinformation? Or should everybody on the on the website or every reader just just have to like stop reading it because they made a mistake? Misinformation is a part of information. You know how we get facts? We disprove the misinformation <laughs> with logic and facts. You need misinformation to get to the truth. Right. It is whatever it is, 100 year history, I'm quite yes. sure. Yes. Even if you aspire to be accurate, there are times when it will, you, you will not be. We've wrong. spoken to people very recently who were involved in moderation, and they just say they just, there's not enough people to police this stuff, particularly around, um, particularly around hate speech um, in the company. Fam. What do you mean it's not enough people to police hate speech? Do you know hate speech is a part of free speech, my guy? I don't give a damn if you love it or hate it. They're letting uh, Nazis openly march around and do their little Nazi chants. That's called free speech, goddammit. That's called America. That's called America. That's what America was built on, goddammit. 
You want me to goddamn start talking like one of those goddamn redneck Nazis over there marching, boy? Just so I can get the point, I'm a goddamn black man, boy. I want to have freedom of speech. If I want to call you a goddamn son of a bitch to your face, I'm going to goddamn do it. I don't care if you say it's misinformation or not, buddy. Ain't nobody going to go up here and police the freedom of speech. Is that what hate speech are you address? talking about? That's fascism. Twitter. That's fascism. You're trying to control people's speech. That's fascism. We're going to start flipping these terms around back on their asses, guys. Right. Do you see a rise in hate speech? I mean, I, I, but just a personal anecdote. Like, what do you do? I don't. P personally, my uh, for you, I would see I get I get more of that kind of content. Yeah, personally. But I, I'm not going to. Bro, that's your for you page, bro. You know what I see on my for you page? I see a bunch of positive goddamn dandelions and butterflies, goddammit. That's what I see on my for you page. So that means you actively searching for hate speech every day on your for you page because your algorithm is suited to show you what you regularly searching for, my guy. You reaching against my boy Elon. My boy Elon is on genius level, guy. You're a fucking reporter. I'm gonna talk to talk to the rest of for, for the rest of Twitter. Have you see more hate speech personally. I would say I would see more hateful content in that. Wow. In that. Content what? you don't like or or hateful. What do you mean to describe a hateful? Oh, my boy Elon just cooked. Content that you don't like or hateful. And regardless, whichever one it is, my guy, it's the content that you're into. I guarantee it. I guarantee if I open Instagram right now. It's going to show me LeBron James hitting the fucking game winner because that's what I was searching for all morning. Hateful thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, just content that will solicit a, a reaction, something that may include that's something that content. is slightly racist or slightly sexist, those kinds of those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is that I'm, what not, you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm say what are you saying then, sir? Are you just like arguing for the sake of argument you don't even you know that's what i'm saying about these journalists guys when you pay attention to the truth and the details and read between the lines you will see pretty easily that that they don't even believe the shit that they be protesting against it's only for the sake of their job this nigga go home and probably worship donald trump and elon musk well, I'm just curious. What you, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con content, and I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and if, and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? Well, you've asked me. You've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more. It, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's why I'm asking for examples. <laughs> can, right? I, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't. You, I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell Bro, this guy is full of shit. This guy is full of shit, guys. Let me know in the comment if you think this guy on the right is full of crap. Bruv, if every time you open up your freaking timeline, you see something that... Give me one example. It should be so easy off the top of your head since this is such a question that you wanted to get Elon Musk in your, in your face and you wanted to ask him this question because obviously it was so important and weighing so heavy on your brain. Give me one example. Give Elon one example of something hateful that you've seen on your timeline. And if you and, and once you give that example, let's then determine whether it was truly hateful or you just didn't like it. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore because I I just don't particularly uh, like it. You said you a lot of people a lot of people This guy here. This guy is full of it, guys. Now he just named the solution to a lot of you guys who don't want to be on the platform. Just leave it. Don't announce it. Please don't announce it. Just leave. Well, quite similar. I, I, I only look well, 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 at my, my followers. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name uh, a single example. Not uh, even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. Three and weeks? I, well, then how did you see the hateful content? content? Because I've been, I've been using it. So for, for, for the convenience of this argument, you all of a sudden don't use the platform because you can't think of any examples to, to uh, support your argument. And then you say you ain't even using it in three weeks. My boy, that wasn't even a full month ago, my boy. You should still remember. I remember what I ate for breakfast three Tuesdays ago. It was eggs and bacon. <laughs> this guy is full of crap. I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you for you hateful wow. content. I'm asking guys, for one. This, this is an old clip because, you know, this is when all the sponsors and the advertisers left X when Elon took over. 
Guess what's happening right now since Trump then uh, won the election? And, and his right-hand man is Elon Musk. Guess who's all crawling right back to X for the advertisement opportunities? Guess who? Everybody. For one example. Right. And I, you can't I, give us a single I, one. I, 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 and I'm saying... I, 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 then I, I say, sir, that you don't know what yes, you're talking about. Exactly. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single really? example of hateful con of content. Not even one tweet. And yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well... That's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What, no, no, what I claim was. Yeah, uh, buddy, you lied. There are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether whether it has a mic or not, they could say whatever. That that's the thing, my boy. You sitting up here arguing misinformation and hate speech, bro. You just said you don't even have a first-hand example. You just going off of what these organizations deem to be hate speech. Bro, you don't even know if you think that what they think is hate speech is hate speech, my nigga. So, like, bro, go find your own examples. Don't give me some bull crap from some left-leaning article that's only here to criticize anything people like Elon Musk and Donald Trump do anyway. Then come up here to confront him in the interview and try to present it like you did some type of fucking groundwork on the situation buddy like you ain't do nothing but read a art ar article that was already against them in the first place nigga <laughs> i mean I, right and Literally, you can, you can someone like the, the uh, strategic dialogue uh, institute in the, U in the uk they will say that so you, they, look it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense i'm literally goes, asking they can say whatever the freak they want buddy <laughs> that don't mean it's true so should they be banned? So if Elon finds one thing that they lied about in, in whatever studies you're reading, should they be banned and deplatformed? If not, then that kills your whole freaking argument. Asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right, and as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how would you know? That I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content and then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. Then how would you know this hateful weeks. content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Um, well, well, COVID wait, misinformation. Wait, first of all, Elon, Elon, don't you ever let this fucking weird little five o'clock shadow wearing M effer ever tell you to move on, buddy? You're Elon Musk, dude. 300 billions buddy how much do this guy have in the freaking bank don't ever tell elon musk a billionaire right hand man to the president of the united states to move on you lucky this was years ago <laughs> you're lucky you could never pull this off with elon musk now amazing you changed the covid misinformation has bbc changed this covid misinformation the bbc does not set the rules on twitter so i'm asking you no i'm talking about the bbc's misinformation about covid Oh, he is cooking you, bro. This guy is horrible at his job. I don't know if he ever did an interview after this. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking you about, you changed the labels, the COVID misinformation labels. They used to be a policy, and then it then disappeared. Because y'all wanted to call, not y'all, but they wanted to call anybody criticizing the vaccine or COVID processes. They wanted to call that inf misinformation, even if they was telling the truth. So even if somebody was like, man, I don't know why y'all taking this vaccine, bro. We don't even know what's in it. It ain't even been studied. Of course, they was labeling that misinformation, even though it was true, my guy. Your, you, your arguments suck, bro. And that's I'm just what? Maybe I'm slow, but y'all ain't about to be telling me I'm slow. I'm saying the same shit that I agree with that the experts are saying. Why do that? Well, COVID is no longer uh, an issue. Stupid. Does the BBC uh, hold itself at all responsible for misinformation re re regarding ma masking and, and side effects of vaccinations? And not reporting oh, on that at all? All that goddamn government shutting down, firing people, Kyrie Irving getting in trouble, wearing masks six feet apart, club clothes, bar clothes, can't drive, can't do nothing. We did all that just to go back to regular goddamn life. And guess what, man? COVID's still out here. They just dropped a new goddamn variant, man. They just dropped some new COVID like a new motherfucking Young Thug mixtape. What we talking about? What we talking about, man? 
My daddy got goddamn vaccinated, man. He had, man, blood clots the next week. Don't play with me. Now, I'm not saying because the vaccine, but all I'm saying is the vaccine seemed like it made shit worse for a lot of people, man. It's, it might it may have saved a lot of lives, guys, but we definitely know it took some. Bro. We will never know how many and lives it potentially saved, but we know how many lives it potentially affected. About the fact that the BBC was put under pressure by the British government to change its editorial policy. Are you aware of that? This is a, this is not an interview about the BBC. Oh, so. you thought it wasn't? <laughs> and this, I see now live on Twitter spaces. I am not a representative of the BBC's editorial policy. I want to make. They don't like when the shoe is on the other foot. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you start poking holes in their little stupid narrative and whatever they trying to accomplish or whatever gotcha moment they trying to get you in, you start asking them a little couple simple questions like. This isn't an interview about me. I am not a personal representation of the BBC. Well, ain't you up here working for the fucking BBC? You know that? Ain't you a contractor up here trying to get some goddamn paper for the BBC? You are a representation of the BBC because the way you was asking Elon questions is like you was pressing him when, nigga, you should be pressing the very people that you work for, my buddy. Bottom line is, man, Miss censoring misinformation is censoring free speech, goddamn. I don't care if I'm getting on this goddamn YouTube videos lying to y'all every day. It's my right. I can goddamn say I'm an actor. We watch movies all day, free speech. We watch so much crazy stuff. It's no way y'all telling me y'all trying to ban misinformation because a certain group of people don't like the information that's being spewed. Whenever the same group of people put out misinformation all the time, just look at all the misinformation they put out about Donald Trump. And Kamala and them over here complaining that they didn't win the election because of misinformation. Y'all told the whole America, including me, watching on fucking Fox Image, watching all this closely. Y'all told me Trump was Hitler and a fascist, and anybody that supported him was a fascist and a Nazi supporter. And guess what? I started supporting them because I was like, I'm not no fascist or Nazi supporter, so why would they say that? They lied to us. They lied. And that's why they lost. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Big wave God made this your boy Ted. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Until next time, we out of here. <laughs>